So hello again, we've just seen the basic function of Pascal and you might ask, well, how do I do a little bit more complex things like copying or finding more st complex structures? Here it is. I started with the workflow, but you've seen I ended up using directly the functionality of the libraries at the end. Behind the workflow, you find another tab hidden, which is the project directory. And here we've just created the basic first safety function, the door. I use this function and I copy and paste it. And you see, I just created a copy both in the, the tabs and in the project view. I change the properties and make this door an e-stop. Um, can I like to remind you, say what the function does, if e-stop is pressed, then shut down drives. You might find nicer words for it, but for the moment that might do it. <laughs> so I've got a new safety function, the e-stop. The calculation is done, but you see the sensor is still the same. What is normally the difference? I use the same logic, I use the same contactors, so all I do, I remove the uh, sensor and I replace it with another sensor. I re replace it with the e-stop. Let's have a look whether I find one. Yeah, there is one. Um, I just take it again, drag it over and enter it. You see I've got a selection how to use it before with our plausibility check, single or dual channel. Use it first place with a dual channel setup and I'm asked which version of it it is. Of course they might have changed safety parameters over the time. So here I come up with the similar screen I've seen, I, I, we've seen from the uh, safety relays, the usability frequency. Uh, so here I have to enter how often the e-stop how often the e-stop is activated once per hour certainly too much let's say once per day that's the time for the e-stop and I say the safety logic does a detection of short cross a short uh, cross of the contacts and it does a feasibility check um, by monitoring the two channels and uh, making sure that if one switches we've got a we've got covered that uh, the other may be faulty. So I replace it and my second safety function is done. I hear you asking, but I do not have just one e-stop. What do I do if I have multiple e-stops? So simple answer, I change, uh, I, I just copy it. Oops, no, not cutting. Um, I just copy it and paste it. And here is the se second e stop. Oh, let's show one thing besides. I just put it at the end. I might have a warning right now that the sensors might be positioned left to the uh, output. So I've got right here an actuator in the logic queue of a sensor which is not really sensible. Um, this is only a warning to indicate whether you may have selected uh, a wrong operating mode of a device like this, the warning is gone. Um, what you see right here is that the e-stop comes up at the end with two different, with two show, uh, showing PLs, one for the first and one for the second e-stop. If you add more than two or three of these e-stops, you will find yourself dropping down to performance level D simply because each is calculated as an individual subsystem. What can we do? I can add a subsystem and say it's a dual channel subsystem and drag the sensor in here and say it's a single channel with the diagnostics. So select the highest number again. Again the same um, ones per day 
and detection of short cross and diagnostics, feasibility check, finish it. So right here I've got the single channel of an e-stop. I do copy it and paste it in the second channel. So this one has the same safety um, parameter as this one. You might see it down here. The sensor 2.2.1.1, that's that pair. And those two have the same safety parameters. But if I right now copy and insert and paste another one right here and another one right here, I've got two sensors in one subsystem. And the, the tricky thing this has something to do how uh, the 3849 calculates it, the two together have the same uh, safety result as the single sensor right here. And you will find that this is true in many cases even if you add five, six, seven, ten sensors in one queue. So if you have to add more, this might be the more appropriate way to show it, even so both calculations are equally correct. What I do right now, I just delete the unused um, e-stops and here is my safety function. In the same way I can model even safety functions with a different number of elements in the two channels, uh, allowing for most complex variations. Um, so you've seen a number of options and uh, I want to mention one limitation which is not due to Pascal but due to the standard. You'll find here an e uh, a relay which has a performance which has a, a B10D value. You see it down here the, it's listed as an MTTF value which derives from a B10D um, because I have to enter the number of activations. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you see me again. Bye bye.